In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this really cool layered presentation where we talk about the marine life and the layers of the ocean. So as soon as you click, you get a title, you get some content, and then once you click again, the magic starts and you dive deeper into the layers of the ocean. You find marine life and click once more and you go even deeper into the picture to the ocean bottom where you find the content that you need. And in this tutorial, we will start all the way from scratch. So the first part, we will look at generating the image using AI. Secondly, we will look at cleaning up the image and making sure it perfectly fits on your slide. And in the third step, we will look at adding it to your PowerPoint presentation, adding the content, transitions and animations. Now, if you want to save some time and effort while making presentations, I also have templates available, which you can download via the link in the description below. Let's start with the image generation part. And for that, I'm using Midjourney. Of course, you can use any AI generator that you want, for example, Dali or Leonardo AI, for example, but I'm using Midjourney. Let's have a look at the prompt that I've used. And for that, I'll break it down into smaller parts and I'll also link it in the description below. The first part is a 3D photorealistic rendered image showcasing a cross section of the ocean. So I want to see through the entire ocean, leaving empty space for text to be added later on. Then I've added above the waterline, realistic boats and container ships should be there with small marine life just below the surface. Below the surface, a clean underwater scene featuring various sea creatures. And then at the ocean floor, the bottom of the ocean with marine life and shipwrecks. This way we have the clear tree part in the image. And as a final step, I added the format details to format as a portrait image using the aspect ratio 16 by 27. The reason I picked 16 by 27 is because a regular slide is 16, 9. I want to stack three on top of each other, so we multiply the 9, which is then 16 by 27. Adding the prompt in Midjourney gives us the following results for really nice pictures already. So let's have a look at which one we can use. The first one I think is pretty cool, but the fish are a bit too crowded. It's too many fish at the bottom. I don't think we can add too much text, so I'm going to discard that one. The second one is not too bad, but Overall, the composition, I'm not a fan of it, so I'm going to disregard that, and also the waterline isn't perfectly clear for me. Number three looks really good, so for me it goes between number three and number four. But looking at the dynamics of the image, I think number four is a bit more realistic, if you ask me. And also we have more space to add some text, and it gives a calmer view. So I think we'll skip number three and go for number four as the winner. And next we will look at how we can turn this image into a perfect usable image for PowerPoint. Because we can easily see that the fish are AI generated, so there's some things that we need to tweak. And also the composition of the picture, I think we can set it up perfectly. So that brings us to the second part of the tutorial, where we'll look at the composition and fine tuning the image. So for that, we're jumping into Canva. Once we're in Canva, we can create a new design and we're going for a custom size. And here we want to use the width, which is 1920, the standard width of a presentation. And here we can see normally it's 1080, but because we have it three times, we're going to multiply it by three. So we get 3240. And then we click create new design. And this gives us a board that we want to work with. So I'm going to paste the image and add it to the screen and then make sure that it fills the entire canvas. Now to get the lines of the design or the split, we go to file settings and we want to add some guides we want to choose custom guides put the columns to zero because we don't need columns but we want three rows with a zero gap so we're going to add a guides and here we can see that we have added two guides so we split it into three parts we have the top part the middle part and the bottom part and this for us is very easy to see how the slides in powerpoint will line up so we now want to make sure that the boat sort of covers the first part, the marine life the second, and now we have the bottom part of the ocean the third. So if we were to just go into PowerPoint, we would have a very weird first slide with only some sky and the top of the containers, and that's not what we want. So what we do here is we can increase the image and we can play around with the settings. So we have a nice first slide with the boat in the center. Maybe we'll make it a bit smaller. And with some very minimal settings, we already get quite a good view. So we have the first page here, which clearly emphasizes the boat. Then if we scroll down, we see the animals below the surface. And then at the bottom, we have the ocean floor. So the layout of the picture is quite good. Now let's look at the content of the picture. The boat and the harbor, I think, look perfectly fine. So I'm going to keep that one as it is. 
But then looking at the animals, there's something weird happening. Because we have that AI generation, it generates some weird shapes and animals. So we don't want that. For that, we select the image, go to edit, and we want to use the magic eraser. Select some of the parts that you don't like. You can increase or decrease the brush size and then clearly go around the parts that you don't want in your design. So these weird things sticking out, same for the fin of that fish here. You can remove them entirely, that doesn't matter. So I'm going to do it like this and then click on erase. Then let Canva do its work and it will erase those parts from your image. As you can see, it does quite a good job. You can always fine tune with some extra selections if you want. And then I think if I arrange once more, I'm pretty happy with the result. So this is the design that we look for. And I think this is a very clean picture that we can use in our presentation. So once we have that, we can go to share, download, PNG. I'm going to increase the size by quite a lot. I want a high resolution version and then click on download. The ratio will stay the same, so that doesn't matter. And then once it's downloaded, you can jump back into PowerPoint. And this is where our PowerPoint part starts of the tutorial. And here we drag in the image that we have exported from Canva and we add it to the slide. Position it in the corner, hold the control key and scroll backwards or use this toggle to zoom out and then hold the shift key to expand it to the full slide. Here we can see on the left side that the first framing looks a lot better than the initial one that we had generated. So if you want to play around with it, that's where we use Canva for or Photoshop or any other tool that you like. Now what we want to do is we want to right click crop and because we have set the settings with the guidelines perfectly, we can easily crop the image to the border of the slide. And this is how we get quite a cool opening picture of our presentation. Now let's first make the entire framework. So what I like to do for this is hold the toggle key or control and scroll backwards, create a copy. So control shift and drag, crop this image. So right click crop and I'm going to fully release the crop from the bottom and I'm going to pull that one down. Then I'm going to shift it upwards, right click crop again, and I'm going to crop the second part. This way I have the perfect top and bottom matched. I'm going to repeat that process. So I'm going to hold control shift and drag to create a copy, right click crop. And here I can just drag the selection to the top. And now if we place them underneath each other, they will line up perfectly. So hold the shift key to select both and then drag them underneath. And this way, if we zoom in, you won't see a border because it's the perfect cut. And that is the result that we want. Now I'm going to duplicate this page two times and then we want to change the images. So on the first page, we can remove the bottom two ones because we only need the top image. On the second slide, we can remove the top one, drag the middle one onto the slide and remove the bottom one and on the third image, we can remove the first two and drag the bottom one to the, to the slide. And this way we have three slides that perfectly match onto one another. Now it's time to add some content to the slide. And for that, we're going to add some simple text boxes. So grab a text box and let's call this Marine, topic of the presentation. I'm going to use a very specific font rate. I recently found it and I thought it was quite nice. And this one is called Boucherie Block. I'm going to increase the font size to, let's try 100. It can be quite a lot larger, maybe 200. And then increase it in size. Center it in the middle. You can always make it bold if you want. And then place it above the boat. For the font color, I'm going to use more colors and use that color picker. And I want to go for one of the blue tones of the boat. Press OK. And I think this instantly blends in nicely with the picture. Hold Control Shift and create a copy. Make this one smaller, let's say 75. And this can be our subtitle. Let's type in our subtitle. It could be anything, let's say unveiling the layers of life. And then reduce the font size until we kind of match with the left and the right. So let's see if we can find that sweet spot. Maybe it's 50, a bit more, 52. That looks quite right. So everything nicely balances out. And looking at these two text boxes, I think we can even go for a lighter tone on the title. So I'm going to choose the color picker again and then go for maybe a little bit of a lighter tone that we have a nice contrast, same as the ship. 
This is already our opening slide. Let's add some extra content here. So I'm going to copy this and let's call it number one, layer one, human life. Centered to the left. And now it's going to look a bit like it's overlapping on the text, which it also is, but we're going to animate it in a second. Draw a text box below and then add some of your content. This color looks a bit weird, so I'm going to use that darker color. And if you want to perfectly place everything before you do the layers, you can always duplicate the image, get rid of the title and subtitle, and then just place your content to where you feel that it looks right. Maybe this can be a bit smaller. There we go. So this could be our opening slide. And then we can copy those, control X. Let's paste them here. And now let's animate these parts. For the title and the subtitle, we go to animations and we want a fly in animation. For the marine title and subtitle, we're going to go for a animation and I'm choosing a float animation in this case. Open the animation pane and this can start automatically with previous. Maybe a small delay, 0.5 on the subtitle. And then we also want to select those and do a float out animation. And that can happen on a click and it can go to the top. And then we want to have an in animation on these two text boxes. So let's do a fly in for this one and have it fly in from the side. We want to change the timing to with previous and maybe have a short delay of 0 0.5 and then zero or one second. Let's preview what this looks like. That's our opening. And as soon as we click, it disappears and the content flies in. I think that was a bit fast. So I'm going to reduce the speed to one. And maybe this one we also put on a click. I think that will look a nicer where we have a nice image. As soon as you click, you get the title and subtitle. And if you click once more, it disappears and you get the text flying in. That is already the first part and the main part of the presentation. Now we're going to copy this number one and the text. This slide we no longer need. And we're going to paste that on the second slide. It's hard to read. So what we're going to do is change the font to white and then change the content to marine life. Of course, we also want to change the text. So I'm going to paste some different text in here. Keep text only. And then we copy this once more. Let's maybe align it to the other side, align to right, and then put it at the bottom right of the slide. This we call number three and we call it ocean bottom. And also here we want to change the text, of course. So this gives us the three slides that we want. Now we only have to add the transition. And for that, I select slide number two and three, go to transitions and choose push. For the duration, I'm going to go for two seconds. And normally everything should be as it was with the animations of the text and title already animated with the delays and the duration the same as it was. It's also happening on the start of the slide, so that should be good. Let's go to the first page and preview. And this is how you get this beautiful opening slide, whereas if you click, you get the fly in of the title and subtitle. Click once more to get the first content on your slide, the human life. And as soon as you click and transition, you scroll down into the depths of the ocean where you get the marine life, some information about it. And if you click once more, you get to the ocean bottom where you get the final result of your presentation. And it's all connected in one image. It also works backwards. So if you want to scroll upwards again, that is all perfectly possible. And you can also go in the same direction. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.